Hi, my name's Marion Calmer, and today we have another segment of uh, our series on the importance of doing on-farm research. Today's topic is about managing cornstalk residue. Last fall, I equipped my corn head with half original OEM stalk rolls that are tip to tip or knife to knife like what was in the, the gearing hoff. On the other half of my corn head, uh, we put in the uh, Calmer BT choppers. So I am knelt down here on the dividing line uh, from where we harvested last fall. So visually, obviously it's, it's easy to see Here's the knife to knife for the original equipment from the factory and you can see the, the longer stalks and you can definitely see that this was knife to knife or tip to tip because about every three and three quarters inches there's a spot where the knives have chewed into the side of the stalk. On the other side we use the Calmer BT choppers which has ten blades which ultimately turns the corn stalk into confetti. And it's pretty easy to see here the, the smaller pieces that were made last fall uh, by those BT choppers. The next thing that that does is leads us to being able to warm the soil up faster because we have more surface area that's exposed now in the spring and this is a late spring and we're going to need the speed to get the soil drier and warmer so we can come in and, comp and, and plant. On this side over here, obviously down underneath it's still wet and it's still mucky and it's not anywhere close to being ready uh, to plant. The other thing that I'm looking at here is this is going to be a lot easier to plant as well. If you're a no-tiller, uh, we've all run row cleaners and all sorts of gadgets. Um, the drier soil, and it's not going to take a lot of down pressure on the row unit or a lot of down pressure on the row cleaners to successfully move this residue out of the way when we get ready to plant. And the last thing I want to do is pull any of this fodder or cornstalk residue down into the trench uh, because then I'm going to possibly drop a seed alongside of it and we all know that that's going to give us uneven emergence. And finally, coming to harvest. I think there's going to be a huge yield difference here. The University of Illinois has researched this for several years in continuous corn. We think that there's about a 10 bushel advantage to being with the, an area where the residue has been managed. Nitrogen's recycling faster. We've got blacker soil, warmer temps. It's just a chain of events. Uh, for those of us that no-till soybeans into standing corn stalks, again, this is going to be tough to get it in the ground with the planter. But on this side here, we've got warmer soils. Should be able to get the soybeans to emerge relatively quickly. So, at my farm, again, in western Illinois, uh, we believe that there is a, uh, an economic response, a profitable response to being able to use the Calmer BT choppers as a way to manage this corn stalk residue so that it'll decompose uh, the following spring. So with that, uh, I want to say thanks for watching the video. Stay tuned as uh, we bring on more uh, in our series of the importance of doing your own on-farm research. With that, uh, we hope that you have a safe and profitable growing season.